Okay, we're at the top of the hour, so uh, we'll get started. Welcome everybody to our May instalment of uh, the What's New and What's Next webinars for Me Too. So this time we're going to be focusing mainly on what's new, as uh, this particular release is really exciting for us as we've added two great new features that lots of our customers have been asking for. Uh, so before we start, uh, i just remind you to um, download Me Too if you don't have it already. Or if you do have it already, please make sure you're running the most up-to-date version of the app. Uh, because with this release, we've uh, updated the native apps uh, to allow participants to use the new features. So, yep, iOS or Android, get the native app or use the web app at web.me2.io. And our meeting ID for this session is 162-261. 936 and we're going to be showing you the new features and getting you to use the app to see what the participant experience is like with these new features so it's really important that uh, you access me too for the session okay like, so as the usual agenda for these webinars we'll look at what's new uh, then what's next and then at the end we'll have a bit of Q&A but uh, as I mentioned we're going to be focusing mainly on the new features of this release and as always Dave is going to be giving us a full demonstration of how they all work. For those of you that might have uh, joined since I started talking we've got the web app link down in the bottom corner so please access me too. Okay then a quick poll to kick things off uh, so get your apps ready and uh, please do participate in this. So which of the following features of Me Too do you use? Is it uh, live polling through the control dashboard, live polling using the PowerPoint add-in, the messaging or Q&A feature, uh, reporting, uh, the customization element, so that's the info screen and the app theme, uh, and the projector, projector display. So uh, this is a uh, select all that apply question, so please choose all the ones that uh, you use and then press send to submit your responses. So I'll give you a couple of seconds to do this. This is a bit of market research uh, for us uh, and really useful uh, information for us to take back to the uh, development team uh, and the product team to, to hopefully you know, adapt and improve some of these features as we go forward. Okay, we're getting quite a few in there now, so I think we can uh, take that there. start to cut that off, Dave. Thanks. And we'll have a quick look at the results. Wow, okay, so. Pretty spread. <laughs> yeah, a, a good spread there. But uh, interesting to see that uh, everybody on here uses the customization. So that's great. One of the features we're really proud of and uh, you know, useful to, to make the app really feel like your own. And also interesting, uh, just to, to interrupt there, to see projected display as the lowest, because hopefully mm -hmm. maybe after what you've seen today, you may, you may kind of um, want to use it more. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, Dave will be demonstrating that in a second. Okay, so straight into it, what's new in this release? Well, um, we've got two main feature additions. Uh, first of all, we've got the open text poll, which gives the ability to run a normal poll type question, but rather than limit your participants to a set of options, uh, you can actually allow them to respond with text. And then we've got the ability for the host, lecturer, uh, or presenter to sort the messages that are sent in via the discussion or Q&A board by the number of likes that they've received. Um, and this facility is available in both the control dashboard and the projector display. Uh, well, better than me describing any of this stuff, I think it's, it's worth going straight into a, a live <coughs> demo. So, Dave, please Excuse take me. it away. Thank you, Dermot. Uh, yes, so that's my cue to go straight over to the dashboard. So, uh, we're in the dashboard, we're in the polls menu. You can see the poll that we, uh, we ran a moment ago. I'll jump straight in and add a new poll. Now, uh, what, what's new here is where you choose the poll type. So we can see we've got our multi-choice and that looks and behaves and is exactly the same as, as previously. Uh, now we've got this lovely new button for text. So we'll select that to run a, an open text poll. And uh, well, a bit short of ideas this morning, Dermot, what should we, uh, what should we ask people as our, as our open text poll? Um, I think maybe something like, uh, what is the word that springs to mind uh, when you think of Me Too? Sorry to put you on the spot there. Great question. Uh, okay, so uh, really simple. You add your, your, your text poll title, and that's all you really need to do. Um, it's a short 
text response, so similar to you know your Twitters and, and your SMSs in 150 characters, uh, but that's more than enough. We'll add that poll. So, uh, and just as a reminder, if you haven't already, get your MeToo apps out or, or use the web app, web.meetoo.io. Uh, and for any latecomers, the meeting ID to join in and, and see this from the participant point of view, uh, join in, it's 162-261-936. So, uh, and we can see we've got a fair few people connected, so that's great. We've added our poll, and nice and simple, we'll open that poll. So if you look to your devices, you'll see how that sort of is presented to the participant. Um, I think for Android users, you have to sort of tap on the, tap on the line to, to get the keyboard up and, and enter your text. Um, but obviously, we're sharing our screen now, and you can see what the, you know, the meeting host or presenter or organizer is going to see. Uh, we can see those responses as they come in. So that's great. So I'll just let that run for a little bit longer. Obviously, you know, it's a bit more than just tapping one choice. People, we don't want to cut people off. Um, so this will be an interesting one to see. Hopefully, it's all going to be positive and lovely responses. Okay, so uh, start wrapping that up now, please, guys, and finish your, your words or sentences. Um, but, you know, exactly the same process as what you're used to with polling. You know, I've opened the poll, and when I'm ready, I'm going to close the poll. So, fair warning, fair warning, everybody, I'm going to close the poll. Okay. <coughs> Now, uh, first thing to point out, you know, as the host, you know, as the organizer, you remain in control. You know, I haven't displayed these responses to anybody. I say, bear in mind, I'm, I'm looking at my, my, my dashboard, but in the app, nothing has been pushed out. Uh, and just with normal polls, I could, you know, call it quits there and come out of here and not share those. Um, so you're always in control with these. Should you want to share the responses, then same as uh, multi-choice polling, we will push results. Now that gives me, the, the organizer, a little view here as well, so I can kind of see what people have said. Uh, and obviously if you look to your devices, you'll see all those uh, text responses. And you can scroll up and down. I mean, obviously the more you have, the further you'll have to scroll up and down. Uh, just to point out, the order in which they are, are displayed is uh, most recent at the top. Mm -hmm. So similar to the published view that most people are used to in messaging, the, the newest message is on top. So the first one to send in was quick. So uh, great, I mean, yeah, very quick look, all positive, and a question that we'll try and remember to address later during the Q&A. Okay, so that, that's it in its simplest form. Um, I am just gonna recap that, and this time uh, run it again, showing the projector display. So um, I'll add a new poll. Now it's already set to text, and if you check my notes, uh, I was going to ask you, uh, about these text poll responses. So you've seen what we can do in its simplest form, and that's just push them back out. But we're interested in your feedback. So th think about this, you know, uh, do you have any ideas as to how um, you would like to display, or, or you know, wh what do you want to, to do when you share these, these, these responses? Um, do you have any ideas as to how you would like to display text responses? So, and again, just to recap, you know, open text poll, you add your question, add the poll. Now, before I open that poll, I say this time around, I'm gonna include projector. So bear with me, folks. I'm just gonna launch our projector setup. Now I will uh, leave everything as default. The main thing to check though, I mean, and it is set as default, is that your display is including the poll activity. So we'll just project that display. Now, uh, so these are the messages live, you know, this is the, the meeting we're using. I'm just gonna pull this tab out, so bear with me for a, a moment, folks, and I'm just gonna split my screens so that you can sort of see what's happening on the projected display on the right-hand side and what I'm doing in the dashboard on the left. Uh, so just really for, for demonstration purposes. So uh, I'll open the poll. Now, as with normal polls, the projector updates. So uh, guys, you know, uh, please take a moment, uh, guys and girls, I should say, sorry, to let us know, you know, have you got any ideas as to what, what you'd like to do and how you'd like to display uh, these, these text responses? And, and this could be displaying live in the session or it could be for d displaying later on. It's entirely up mm. to you. But just, just while people are putting this stuff in, though, uh, you know, people will have their own ideas about how they might want to use this feature. Um, but certainly some, you know, some of the feedback we've had in the past when we were developing this, this particular feature was um, some of our customers wanted to potentially capture the email addresses of participants 
um, in the app. So this is a good way to do that. It could be something as simple as saying, you know, if you would like to receive the slides after this session, please put your email address in and, and we'll, we'll post them out to you afterwards. So that stops people having to actually put it into the discussion board where they're potentially sharing their email address of all the yeah. other participants. So it's a good way to, to capture that information uh, and then not show it. And like you said, you know, it, it's not limiting people to choices or options. I mean, if, if you said, you know, which country are you from? Perhaps scrolling through, you know, 200, 300, however many countries there are, mm. uh, through your phone is not great. You could just use an open text poll. Um, but also, we were, we were talking about earlier, weren't we? If you, had, if you have a list of choices uh, and you want to have other, you can, you know, put the other option in there. And then if you have a significant portion of people actually select other, you could then open a text poll afterwards to ask people mm. what that was. But so, so that's just some examples of how you might use the open text poll. Uh, you know, this poll that we're running now and just asking for your genuine feedback on is, how would you display those text responses? And we've got our ideas, and we don't want to lead you uh, by mentioning the two or three things. It's kind of tempting to give examples, um, but it would be great to hear. Uh, so just another sort of you know, 10 to 15 seconds, guys. If you could finish off your sentences, uh, don't forget to press send, and uh, we'll close this poll in a moment. I think we can go now, Dave. Yeah, uh, okay. Yeah. So uh, to recap, you know, I've opened the poll. We'll close that poll. And if I have cut you off, I'm sorry, but feel free to add it into the board. Uh, as you can see, the projector updated with poll closed. And I say to, to kind of fully complete that demonstration, including the projector, if I were to push those results, similar to what we saw in the app, they're displayed in that order. So the, 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 the last message that we received is at the top. Uh, participants can scroll up and down in the app, but obviously we could scroll up and down in the projector. Mm. So, so ju just have a look at a couple of those. We've seen mm. WordCloud pop up quite a bit, so uh, that's really good to see. Text wall. Text wall, Great interesting idea. one, yeah. It'd be good to get some more feedback on the message board as to what you think a text wall is. Mm. Uh, grouped word clouds, interesting. Uh, scroll, like them, that's interesting. Great. Well, I say we keep everything, yeah. we'll feed this back. Uh, I know the team will be frantically uh, reading these now, but I'll say we'll, we'll keep all of this. Right, so we press done in the dashboard and the projector goes back to the state it was in. Okay, let me just close that projector. And I think, just to double check my notes, ah, I thought I'd almost forget this. So just before I, I leave open text poll, the last thing I wanted to show you is what that looks like in the report. So uh, we'll just very quickly run a report. Uh, download that, we'll open that Excel. Now, uh, the polling results tab, uh, that includes the text polls, just with a, a brief summary, so you can see you know, what the poll was, how many people responded, and the timestamp. Really, what we think most people will be looking for is the votes by participant worksheet, so that mm -hmm. you know, hasn't changed, but we've now added those open text polls, so you can uh, see, and even if it was an uh, unidentified or profiles off, you'd have those, those text polls there. So that's all I had to show you on open text poll. We will move straight over to sort by likes. So um, I'm going to go back into staying in this this meeting that we're using. Um, we're going to go to the messages now. We've already had some very genuine great responses. So what I would just ask you first to do now, um, you know. Send in a message, uh, what are you up to this weekend? What are you looking forward to doing this weekend? It would just be great for this demonstration to have a, a bunch of messages that we can play with. Uh, so just for the next you know, 30, to 30 to 60 seconds, just send in a message on the board. What are you up to this weekend? Um, what are you looking forward to? Oh, concert. Oh, concert, that's a good one. Uh, and this, you know, this feature, sort by likes, has been something that people have been asking for for, for a while. So I'm really pleased to to be able to, you know, get this in here now. Uh, and we're sure this is going to be one of the most popular features. I should say, please um, keep the messages uh, sensible, clean. <laughs> clean. Yes, yeah, yeah. We're, we're trusting you by leaving the uh, moderation <laughs> off today. Uh, okay. That's brilliant. So, so while this is going through, if you can start liking other people's messages, the ones that you think are, are potentially the best activity for the weekend, great. Um, that will really help Dave uh, demonstrate this well. So what I'll just do is maybe just zoom out a little bit so we can see a few more messages. So the feature sort by likes, uh, as Dermot had in the slide, there's, there's really two areas now where you can sort by likes. And the first one I'm going to show you is for the presenter, for the moderator, you know, the organiser here in the dashboard. 
So uh, as you can see, guys, thank you. You know, lots of great messages there. Um, we always were able to change the order, but now we've added this most liked. So if I choose most liked, my view as a presenter, and please do carry on just tapping in a few likes now, you will see that that board shuffles and adjusts and updates automatically as people start liking messages. So that's the first thing to show you. Uh, and what I can do, again, as an organizer, is I can actually lock that order. So right now, I've just locked the view that I'm, that I'm showing with you. You guys can still keep sending messages. You can still keep sending, uh, keep liking messages. But this is just great for me to sort of say, great, thanks everyone, you know, that's the cutoff. And I can sort of tend to those most popular. Uh, new messages do still arrive down at the bottom. And even though we've locked the order, you know, if you could see that those numbers of likes do still update live. It just locks down that order. Yeah, really good for a presenter when they're uh, obviously trying to address them. They don't want to keep seeing that that list shuffling yeah. up and down. And then, as Dave says, you can unlock it again. Unlock to get it, that refresh. and it all and it all goes back. And just to go back to the the default, you know, newest. So that is the first sort of uh, element of of sorting by likes. Uh, what we can also do is show it to you in the projector. So I am. Uh, let's just zoom back in here. I will launch my projector again. Now we'll leave it in the publish tab. Uh, and what's new here is this order messages by. So we're gonna sort these by most liked. So I'll select that. That's all there is to it. We'll project this. And uh, I don't think there's any need for me to, to split screens here. Now there's, um, well, yeah, it, it works in, with the same principle as those likes increase. So again, if maybe I could just encourage people to like a few messages that you, you haven't liked yet. Uh, and as you can see, that board updates as the most liked messages work their way to the top. I think it's important to mention um, the, the, about the locking feature. Yep. When it, when it comes to the projector. Uh, so that you can't lock in the projector. Sorry, yeah, good point. Uh, that locking is purely for in the dashboard. Uh, and I can show you it's completely independent. So I just recap, I can sort my dashboard by most liked, lock it. Uh, the likes can continue to rise, uh, but the, the projector isn't locked. The projector does update. Uh, and yeah, I, like you say, you know, we've had loads of people sort of come up with great ways of using it and, you know, asking students or, or colleagues a question, you know, getting the five most popular to the top and, and then voting on those. So it's, um, yeah, really, really exciting feature. So okay. Ju so just to basket uh, weaving. I, ju I just want to just pick up on a question from Gary. Uh, he said, "Can we see sort by likes on our devices?" No, Gary. Uh, not yet. Um, as we always say, you know, we're we're always working fast. It's a very quick cycle. Um, the guys are on the line, and we will certainly feed that back. Um, watch this space. I know, I know it is something that that they've been looking at. So yeah, good uh, good question. But no, Gary, just to, to be to be very clear uh, with this sorting by likes in the dashboard and here in the projector the app messaging has not changed. That is exactly the same as it was, um, which is most recent on top. Sure, and just, just, just as we move on, Dave, Mick's put a question in saying, my display isn't updating. Uh, that could be, is that in your app, Mick? If you could just send us a, a bit of information about exactly uh, what which display isn't updating, that'd be great. Okay, well, I think, uh, double, triple check my notes. That's it for me, uh, certainly for this part of the demonstration. So I'm just gonna close my projector. And let's go back to our slides. Yes, so as always, I mean, there's, there's nothing really to, to, to go into detail here, but you know, there's these two great new features, but we're always working in the background to uh, iron out anything and, and make tweaks. So the guys are a few nice little uh, improvements to the app there, making it work better. Right, so um, yeah, I mean, we. That's the, the main part of the demo done now. Uh, so just, you know, this isn't a sort of set piece now, but just throughout the background, if you can let us know what you think, keep your questions coming, any feedback or thoughts, uh, just use the messaging board for that. Right, uh, and this is just a selfless promotion here, guys. Um, just wanted to remind you of our YouTube channel. So uh, if you've got colleagues that couldn't make the webinar today, if you've got colleagues you wanted to share the webinar with, you know, uh, visit our YouTube channel. And I think Dermot's going to send out a link shortly uh, in the app. Um, it's where we'll have our webinar recording for this, you know, later on today, uh, all of our videos. And the best thing you can do is subscribe and you'll get a little announcement whenever we add something. 
So uh, a good one there not to forget. And that brings us to the what's next portion of today's webinar. Sure, thanks Dave. So uh, as I said, we're not gonna spend too much time on this section because uh, we're getting close to our, our time limit on this one. Um, but Dave and I thought it'd be really nice to share some of the things that uh, you can expect soon with, uh, with me too. So uh, the open text poll doesn't just stop here. This is just the first step in it. Um, we'll shortly be enhancing that with the, uh, the ability to actually display it as a word cloud. So that was something that came up quite a lot in people's feedback. Yes. So that we're really pleased to see that because uh, Coming you know, soon. It, it, it validates you know, the other feedback we've had and the fact that we're, uh, we're going through for that. Uh, we're also going to be uh, releasing uh, a few updates to the PowerPoint add-in to bring that in line with uh, all these new features that are available in the dashboard. So that's going to include the ability to set correct answers to polls. So that was uh, a feature that Great we feature. released a little yeah. while ago through the dashboard. The PowerPoint's going to get that soon, uh, as well as this open text poll uh, question type. Um, we're then looking to uh, add a new poll type, which is going to be a survey style uh, feature that's going to allow the participants to respond to a number of polls uh, in their own time. So really useful yeah. as a uh, exit polls and um, uh, loads uh, of great ways you could use yeah. that. Just um, yeah, answer at their own pace. Yeah, absolutely. You know, or maybe in advance of your meeting, so that would be good. Um, you know, there's lots of stuff to be really excited about with me too at the moment, uh, and in the coming weeks and months. So um, that's that's really good to see. Um, and I know, Dave, you want to just give a quick update on some yeah, webinars? Yeah, so just around webinars, um, we asked this poll a couple of webinars ago and I think updated you last month that, yeah, we're going to take this and go with a, a hints, tips, best practices. So it's really just to to come back to that. Uh, we have taken that and it's a, it's a bit of a tongue teaser and probably regret calling it this, but the 10 top me too tips from the Me Too team. Uh, we're going to pilot this. Uh, we're going to run this as our May monthly customer success webinar uh, with Dermot. Uh, a short one as usual, but we'll, we'll collect our, our well our ten top Me Too tips from ourselves. And after this month's uh, monthly webinar, we're also going to run this as our one of our regular webinars. So uh, it'll be webinar Tuesdays, uh, and we'll have our jump starter webinar followed by uh, this. So that's uh, something to get excited about. And I think again, yep, Dermot sent a, a link out to, to register for that. So watch this space. That then I think concludes what's new and what's next. Uh, and it's the point where Dermot and I refer to the board. Um, Joe's asked you to say it again, Dave. Uh, just while I look at some of the other questions, could you uh, try say, say what about the name of the webinar again? <laughs> I'll try and do it without looking at it. Ten top Me Too tips from the Me Too team. Very good. It's not top ten. It's just ten top ten top tips. Me Too tips. So uh, Neil does ask a really good question here. Can we use smiley and sad faces for likes and dislikes? Uh, and I think a few people have responded to that by putting the uh, emojis in there. Uh, but in terms of the actual like feature, uh, we've stuck with with just likes. Um, uh, for the for the time being, at least, but uh, that's some that's some good feedback there. Positive about survey polling, yeah. I mean, and there's, there's several ways that you could use that. So, uh, if anyone feels like they want to sort of expand on that on the board, that'd be great. Yeah. Um, and just another repeat of that question about uh, sorting the likes uh, on the actual participant app. Uh, as we mentioned, yeah, that's something that uh, that we're working on. That's good. Um, I don't think there's too many questions. I'll just shoot to the top of the board again. Uh, Mark's asked a good question. So uh, the report to show participant names who liked the message. Really good feature request, Mark. Thank you very much for that. Um, I know uh, uh, Matt Locking. and the team that are looking mm -hmm. in on this will uh, will be taking that one on board. And uh, uh, always great to see you here, Adam. Uh, locking likes order feature is great. Yeah, it'd be interesting to know if I think do that in the projector as well or... or mm -hmm. mm. Okay, good stuff. And then I think we're on to everybody's weekend. Um, yeah. Okay, I think like uh, we'll, we'll keep this open again, uh, as we always do. So if you have got any questions, please feel free to, to push them through. But uh, we've got uh, a little question for you guys, uh, as always, at the end. Yes, we do. Uh, sorry, so, I'm aware. We've got loads of questions and messages there that we might just have to come back to. Uh, right. What did you think? What did you think of this webinar? Uh, again, as always, I know I always say it, please be brutally honest with us. Um, we want to make sure that these are as useful to you as possible. Um, obviously, we're running a little bit over uh, to what we've advertised for this uh, this webinar, but um, yeah, please let us know if it was a total waste of your time or somewhere in between up to extremely valuable. Okay, I think we can capture that one, Dave. We shall close the poll. And I think, as always, we are sparing our blushes. Uh, on this one. Excellent stuff. Uh, and then 
again, please give us any feedback on how we could make these better, um, you know, improvements, any webinars you'd like to see, uh, as well as any feature requests or, or mm. just general feedback about Me Too would be absolutely brilliant. And as always, we'll leave this Me Too meeting running for a while. Uh, if you can think of anything in sort of five, ten minutes' time, then return to the app and, and jot that down for us. Um, and I'll say if we have missed anything, we'll get back to you. Okay, so just uh, one for you here. Please, we really appreciate if you could leave us Trustpilot reviews. Uh, I've just pushed the link out into the Me Too. Uh, it's really useful for us, great to get your genuine feedback, but also to share with the wider Me Too community. So whether it's feedback on your experiences with Me Too, or uh, maybe even just this webinar, that'd be great. Uh, just a reminder of the YouTube channel, full of Dave's great videos on how to use all these new features. Don't and we forget always, to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, and we always post the recordings uh, of these webinars uh, on there as well. Okie doke. So thank you very much. That's all, folks. I think that's all from us now. Uh, we've come in exactly 25 minutes, Dave, I think. Um, please keep your comments and uh, any questions coming in. But thanks very much for, for joining us on this session. Thank you.